Our residents are being evacuated from their homes in several villages in the western Russian region of Lipetsk following what's been described as a massive attack by Ukrainian drones. Explosions have been reported and power supplies have been disrupted. It comes as Russian forces battle Ukrainian troops for a fourth day after they smash through the border in the Kirks region. It's one of the biggest attacks on Russia since the start of the war. Well, for the very latest, let's cross live now to our correspondent in Kramatorsk. Emmanuel Shaz is standing by for us. Emmanuel, tell us firstly, if you can, what has been the reaction in Ukraine, in Kyiv particularly, to this latest incursion by Ukrainian troops? Well, uh, we do have the operational uh, silence on what is going on in course. However, we had two reactions from Kyiv. First, that of President Volodymyr Zelensky, uh, who said that Russia should feel what it had done to Ukraine. He didn't make a direct reference to Kursk, but I think uh, this is quite clear that he was referring to the war coming on Russian territory for the very first time. The second uh, reaction was that of his advisor, Mihailo uh, Podolyak, who was saying that uh, as a result of Russia thinking that it could invade Ukraine in all impunity. Uh, well, uh, this uh, happened, and uh, for Podolyak, the sole responsible of this Ukrainian incursion is Russia, which has been waging a war of aggression against Ukraine. Emmanuel, talk to us then a little bit about what exactly is happening on the ground. What do we know? What is the very latest? Well, the very latest is that according to Russian information, because as I was mentioning here on the Ukrainian side, we have operational silence. The very latest is that the fighting is ongoing, that the incursion is still deep into uh, Russian territory. According to Russian sources, at least 15 uh, kilometers within Russian territory. You were uh, also mentioning these uh, uh, massive drone, uh, Ukrainian drone attacks well within uh, Russian territory. The region of Lipetsk is th uh, 300 kilometers away from the border. Uh, there, an, uh, uh, a military base uh, has been uh, hit. There again, there's no confirmation uh, on the Ukrainian side, but we see that this offensive, this Ukrainian offensive, which nobody on the Russian side or uh, internationally seems to have been uh, expected, is ongoing. It, uh, there's also international media which have uh, reported that uh, 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 the head uh, of uh, the Russian army hadn't uh, uh, taken into account reports that uh, Ukrainian troops were uh, were uh, coming, uh, were gathering at the border with Russia. So there will be some uh, explanation to do on uh, Moscow's uh, uh, side within, uh, you know, within the Kremlin between uh, generals. But here, as I was mentioning in Ukraine, there's operational silence uh, while uh, the, those operations are ongoing. And uh, it's the case at the moment as we speak. Emmanuel, for now, thank you so much. That is our correspondent in Kramatorsk, Emmanuel Shaz.